Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -oh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Naomi. Today I really want to do a quick review of yet another of Innisfree product. And this time is their Apple Seed Cleansing Kit. And obviously this is not their full size. Their full size retails around $10 to $15. Depending on where you live, it might be cheaper than that. So I received this kit when I was purchasing the Innisfree Lip Tint. So they give this for free. And inside, there are three items. And the first one is their Innisfree Apple Seed Cleansing Oil. And then the second one is the Innisfree Apple Seed Lip and Eye Remover. And then the third one is their Apple Seed Deep Cleansing Foam. So I have tried the cleansing oil and the deep cleansing foam. I have not tried the lip and eye remover because I have not been using anything waterproof recently. So I figured we could try this together. So right now I am using the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the color of Nosferatu. So I'm going to uh, swatch this at the back of my hand first just to test it with a regular micellar water. So right here I have a micellar water from Garnier and we're gonna test how well this micellar water actually removes a liquid lipstick. So here we go. As you guys can tell, I am rubbing the shit. There's still a little bit left here, if you can see that. So now that we tested that this liquid lipstick cannot be removed with a regular micellar water, I am going to finally test it with this Innisfree Lip and Eye Remover. I'm gonna do the same thing. Swatch it at the back of my hand. Let it dry. Take a cotton swab. Woo! I think I put too much. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so it actually removes it way better than the micellar water. I don't know whether you guys can see. It's really clean and I don't have to rub it as hard as I did when I was using the micellar water. So I guess that's good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, let's begin with the review. Let's start with the product that we just demonstrated. So first impression, I am actually blown away from this product. Maybe not super blown away, but blown away. Um, as you guys can tell from the video, this product actually removes makeup easily. It just glides. Maybe not just glides, but it removes easily. I don't have to rub excessively. And another thing that I was actually surprised about this product is that this product doesn't have any scent. Um, if you notice, I was actually smelling the product because the two other products that I have from the Apple Seed series actually has a very strong smell. It's not unpleasant smell or anything like that. It actually smells really good. It smells like apple, but in my opinion, it's just too strong and also, recently I have not been loving any products that contains perfume because product that has perfume in it actually damages your skin especially if you have sensitive skin or if you don't have sensitive skin it's better not to use product with perfume in it. I think because this product is supposed to be used around the eye area, they want it to be as gentle as possible. That is why they never put any perfume. So that's good, I guess. I definitely recommend this product, especially knowing that this product costs around 10 to $15. It's affordable and it actually works. So yeah, definitely recommend it. All right, so let's move on to the cleansing oil and the cleansing foam. As I mentioned before, these two products has a very strong scent to it. And the cleansing foam has a stronger smell for some reason. Don't know why. But aside from that, I actually really like the cleansing oil because it removes its makeup really well. And also it doesn't leave my skin really dry afterwards. However, together, oh my god, girl. These two products will give you like a very bad facelift. Uh-uh. 
not cute. So overall, I would give this Apple Seed Cleansing Series a 6 out of 10 or maybe 7. And although I wouldn't use this product in the long run, but they are really good at removing your makeup and they are really affordable too. So... Alright guys, that concludes my quick review for today. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I do have a few more skincare video lining up for you guys. And also follow me on Instagram because I also post a mini review on my Insta story. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!